Hello Facebook, YouTube, this is Biohazard again with another tutorial. I wanted to show y'all how I use uh, Photoshop and After Effects in the Oculus without using the keyboard that I can't see because I have this headset on my head. Now, uh, this video may be kind of confusing, maybe kind of long, and maybe kind of all over the place because I'm not very, uh, what's the word for it, used to making uh, YouTube video tutorials like this, but uh, I'll try to stay with the point. So, um, if you're like me and, uh, you want three screens to work on all your stuff, you can get this program right here, or not program, you can get this, uh, state display emulator and I have two of these in the back of my computer and I can tell this program to run these, all three of these screens all at the same time and I bought that on Amazon for like six something dollars I don't know um the controller I'm using I bought it on Amazon too for about six dollars and the links all these links will be in the description here it is um this is a pretty crappy one you can probably use any controller and I'm mapping the controls with a program called Pinnacle Profiler. Now this program's like $6 now for a lifetime license. It's amazing, I love it. If you have another program for mapping your controls, then you know feel free to use that. But this is what I use and uh, it works fine. I have a, um, here's the map. You know, undo, redo, um, create a new layer, new, you know, all the good stuff you'd want. And even shift so I can drag stuff to scale. I can press this little home button right here and it opens up uh, this artificial intelligence over here which will I will also include the link to and this is how you operate the page by the way because um, maybe kind of confusing get in here set up an account sign in let it load and then you click this button right right here and get this one this one's not available unless you want to pay for it which is this one's pretty awesome too but you get this one right here and install it and you want to go over here profiles and uh well you, you go in here and you you input your commands whatever you wanted to do it's all voice commands and stuff so i have my after effects and everything already rigged so i press the home button for push to talk Open Adobe After Effects. Open Adobe After Effects. Launching After oh, Effects. Oh, what? Oh, there it goes. I thought I had it rigged for saying Open After Effects instead, but you know what? So I can open my After Effects from here. I can. Uh, I have Rain Meter installed. Normally, I have a bunch of icons over here. I can access all my crap from a whole lot quicker than telling my computer to do it. But um, and I also uh, Windows comes with this this thing right here, and you can dictate text. It's a uh, Windows um, voice something speech recognition, and you turn it on. You say whatever you want to type, and it'll type it in for you. So uh. Let me get my main screen over here. Oh, uh, don't forget to subscribe, yeah, you know, for more awesome content. Need some subscribers? I don't have, like, four. It's horrible. Man, it's really just... So, uh, <laughs> let's get back down here. Now, I don't really remember how to do this, so I'm going to hit the new, create a new solid. For a new thing and the menu accidentally opened up on the wrong screen and there we go new composition let's say if i wanted to create a new solid to add some effects to just press up motherfucker the stupid menu keeps popping up on the wrong screen um So yeah, I've created my new solid. This is a lot easier when I'm not trying to make it into a video. So 
to see if the dick dictate text thing will work in my video or not because sometimes this shit's just stupid another solid there we go typed in another solid as you can see up there okay then go in here and apply effects video copilot Put a fucking, uh, put a little optical flare on there. You know, do whatever. Um, I can undo, redo. I can press this to hold, uh, let's see, one press to copy, two to paste. So, copy, paste. Um, sometimes it doesn't work very good. Delete all of it. Um, undo that again, delete it, shift the scale so it stays at a minimum scale, and, uh, yeah, man, this, uh, this software, uh, this is, uh, this is pretty awesome, really, because, I mean, I love being able to work on all my screens all at the same time, and, uh, it's really, this is really useful for me. So, uh, I think that's about it. I'm, I'm going to include, uh, links to instructions on how to operate, um, Pinnacle and Jarvis down here. Um, it's actually called Links. And, uh, yeah. Let's see what else do I need to show y'all. Um, if you run your After Effects or, um, Photoshop in Administrator, you need to go to this location right here and you need to create a shortcut for the application like uh, Deskverse, Virtual Desktop, anything like that. Oh, that's why my computer's doing stuff. And um, set that shortcut to run as administrator and you'll be able to use the uh, in the in virtual reality keyboard that shows up virtually in the uh in the area with your photoshop to type if you want to do it that way so if any of you are having problems it's because your stuff is running an administrator so uh don't forget to subscribe like my videos don't forget to download virtual desktop or vr toolbox from my dream they are great both really great softwares um and yeah Let's see. Open recording menu. Open recording menu. Yeah. Pretty awesome.